Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The objective of this lesson is to define biomolecules like carbohydrates, proteins and nucleic acids. To classify carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids and vitamins on the basis of their structures. We will also explain the difference between DNA and RNA and we'll try to appreciate the role of biomolecules in our biosystem. Before we even start the chapter, have you ever wondered why most of us behaves like our parents? Because if you see here, this kid, one with the black hair, has got this black hair from his father and the other kid on the right, this kid, has got the brown hair from his mother. So we inherit physical properties from our parents. Our eyes, our lips, hairs, a lot of things we get from parents. Why do we get, what is responsible for this? We'll study all these things in this chapter. It is biomolecules that is responsible for this. Also, if you see, have you ever wondered why do we eat? What will happen if we don't eat? Obviously, if we don't eat for a long time, we'll fall ill. And if we don't eat for a longer time, we'll die. Food is required, right? To eat. So what is there in food? So if you see the food has nothing but carbohydrates, vitamins, they're all biomolecules. So food has biomolecules in it. And we consume biomolecules. Also if you see, some bodybuilders are very strong, their muscles are very tight because they have high protein in the body. These proteins, Food, that's biomolecules, carbohydrates, the genes which are responsible for uh, similar characteristics to the parents, that is DNA, RNA, all these are all biomolecules. Correct? So, this is the reason we'll study biomolecules. So, what are biomolecules? So, biomolecules is any molecule that is produced by living organism. Please, I'm repeating here, it's any molecule that is produced by a living organism. A living organism can be a plant, it can be human, it can be any other animal, dogs, cats, rats, rabbits, anything. It can be algae. So any living organism that produces molecule is called biomolecule. Bio plus molecule. So bio is nothing but living organism and molecule is a normal molecule. So any molecule produced by a living organism is called biomolecule. So for example, protein is one example of biomolecule. Then we have DNA that is responsible for the heredity that is also biomolecule. The carbohydrates that is also biomolecule. The vitamins, they are also bi biomolecule. So we will study all these things in this chapter. The next question that comes to our mind is, we know what is biomolecule, why should we study biomolecule? Correct. So if you see the gene which I talked about, in this case, this son has inhibited black hairs from his father and this guy has got brown hairs from his mother. Correct. Also if you see, uh, this guy has got different eyes, that is different. but some features they have got from their parents. This is because of genes. That is DNA and RNA. That is nothing but biomolecule. The food which we eat has biomolecules. It has carbohydrates. It has proteins. It has vitamins also. So all these are nothing but my biomolecules, correct? The food we eat, the genes, when we fall sick, why do we fall sick? We fall sick due to generally deficiency of some vitamins in the body, right? So there also if you see the biomolecules plays a vital role. Then giving the proper vitamins makes you feel better, right? So deficiency of vitamins is a cause of sickness and proper diet can make you better also. So just it's all about the balance of 
all the carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, or biomolecules in your system that keeps you healthy. Correct? The muscles which you see is nothing but the proteins. Correct? And here if you see the whole body, the whole body needs biomolecules to survive. Right? From the digestion of food, energy, everywhere you need biomolecules. So biomolecules plays a critical role for our survival. It is we who are in question now, right? It's human beings. So for survival of human beings, biomolecules is a must. Let's start our chapter, biomolecules. So what is biochemistry? So if you see, a living system grows and reproduces itself. So this is a picture of a couple and they have a baby. So this, if you see these two, uh, I mean this couple, they have ability to grow itself, they sustain itself and they reproduce. So humans has the tendency to grow, sustain and also reproduce because they have a fixed lifespan. For example, human has a lifespan of almost 70 years. After that, they die. So they reproduce, they produce their kids and they again uh, grow, sustain and they reproduce. And that's how the whole human dynasty runs. And please note, these all human systems are made up of complex biomolecules, right? And if you see these all human beings, it's all living thing, but if you see these all human beings are made up of all these complex biomolecules, carbohydrates, proteins, DNA, vitamins. They are all non-living. These biomolecules I'm talking about, they don't have any life. They are just carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphorus. They are all polymers, big polymers of these uh, elements, right? So the beauty is the human being, they are living organism. They have ability to grow, sustain and reproduce itself. But the building block of the human being, if you see, is a non-living compound. That is nothing but carbon, hydrogen, sulfur, phosphorus. They combine to form long chains and we call them biomolecules. There are different types of biomolecules. We study carbohydrates, proteins, DNA, vitamins, etc. Right? And these biomolecules, they interact with each other. These biomolecules, which, which I will discuss, they interact with each other and they constitute logic of life process. Correct? And the pursuit of the knowledge of what goes on chemically within this living system is biochemistry. Why? Because this is bio. Bio is life. We are getting life. And why chemistry? Because all these are chemical compounds. The carbohydrates, which I told, right? The carbohydrates, the proteins, the DNA, the vitamins, all these are all chemical compounds. So these chemical compounds make life. Correct? So that is the beauty. The beauty is this whole body, human body or any body you say, you take animal body or uh, you take plant, any living organism you take, they are made up of proteins, vitamins, carbohydrates, DNA. And all these are nothing but biomolecules. They are nothing but chemical compounds. So chemical compounds actually if you see which it doesn't have life chemical compound which doesn't have life at all gives you a living human being it's a mystery actually right it's quite strange how come a chemical compound give birth to a human or a living organism biochemistry is nothing but the branch of science which deals with all these it deals with knowledge that goes on chemically within a living system because we are made up of chemicals. Biochemistry helps us to understand this. So let's understand the classification of biomolecules now. The first is the carbohydrates also called saccharides because they are sweet. Saccharide word came from Greek word that means sweet. We'll discuss more about that. In carbohydrates, we'll talk about glucose, fructose, lactose, starch, cellulose. And 
glycogen so we'll talk about these many carbohydrates these are some of the popular carbohydrates although there are many more other carbohydrates but we'll talk, we'll talk about these carbohydrates because they are popular carbohydrates we'll talk about proteins proteins are nothing but a lot of amino acids combined we will talk about that also we'll talk about proteins we'll talk about enzymes we'll talk about vitamins we'll also talk about nucleic acids in nucleic acids we'll talk about dna and rna so in the whole biomolecule chapter we'll talk about these things we'll start with carbohydrates then we'll talk about proteins then enzymes and vitamins and then nucleic acids thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again